The Eight Circle Cross is on folio 33 of the Gospel of St. Matthew. It is the only fully abstract decorative page which exists in the manuscript. It contains no words or images of the saints, but rather is a highly structured and decorative geometric design which features two co-joined crosses. The arms of the twin crosses are adorned with circles, eight in total, which are thought to reference Christ's death and resurrection on the eighth day of the Passion. The eight circle cross is decorated in minute interwoven details, referencing both geometric and natural forms, and features all manner of life, including humans, birds, lions, and snakes. The page really captures the imagination of the viewer. It is so precisely structured and incredibly detailed. So the questions people ask are typically, what does it mean and how was such an intricate painting made? As conservators, we strive to understand the materials and the methods used to create an object by looking for evidence and by looking for the signs that connect us directly to the maker. We are extremely fortunate in that the eight circle cross is on a page without script on the other side. So using enhanced light, microscopy and high resolution digital images, we can look at the back of the page for features that will give us information about its creation. At the back of the page, we can clearly see a large number of pin pricks, which mark out the main structure of the design and the center of the circles. These indicate compasses were used to enable precision in design and layout. Telltale pinpricks can also be seen not only at the center of the eight large circles, but in the many smaller circles in the design. This is only one feature of the manuscript which informs our understanding of how this treasure was made. But we still do not have all the answers. We will continue to explore the materials and techniques that were used to create such exquisite detail and wonder who the artists were 